Welcome to Jedi Journal on Nights of Awakening. I recently saw someone ask a group of people if they felt a shift in the Force. Now, when I first joined the Jedi community, I noticed a lot of this question going around in the forums, but it's since mar migrated away from the forum-based groups and into the Facebook groups. I kind of wonder why is there such a difference? Is it because the Jedi in the forums have less courage to say something these days? Maybe it's because the forums tend to let discussions about the Force form inside study groups and interpersonal relationships. Or maybe it's because the Jedi don't really teach anything using Facebook. They mostly keep that to the forums or in interpersonal relationships. For many years, the reason I didn't start a I feel a, a disturbance post is because I was embarrassed to say anything about it to people I saw as having a much greater understanding of the Force than I did. I did chime in a few times if I noticed something at the same time a post came up, but as I grew to better understand the Force, I realized that making such posts aren't necessarily the right way to go about working through the disturbances I was feeling. As I grew in understanding, and with the help of people that were in much better connection to the Force than myself, I came to understand the truth about these disturbances. Most of the time, they're personal, not communal or world-breaking. Now, that isn't to say that I believe it's wrong to see if others are getting the same vibes. After all, it's entirely possible. Many people have reported feeling uneasiness prior to 9-11. And that event impacted a massive chunk of the world, both in terms of loss that day and the subsequent wars that followed. But seeking others' confirmation can prove a double-edged sword. The first problem is that it could be personal, and you're not the only person that might experience a personal level shift in the Force. There are many people around the world which had their own trials to push through. Many are going through it at several times in a short time frame. They are anticipating bad things coming their way because their focus has been put into this state due to circumstances in their life. You're bound to encounter these same people when you ask the question, and they aren't necessarily going to be aware that this is what's happening to them because they haven't become self-aware. The moment they hear someone else say that they have felt a disturbance, they may forget altogether the many other times that they've had this same feeling because their stress memory has caused their connection to the Force to become short memory. And if we're being honest, many people in the Jedi community are going through this very kind of trauma. That's actually why they're coming into the community. They're hoping to get themselves on the right track to get out of that rut. And it's not just Jedi, it's nearly every other religion, especially if they're receiving new converts. The big thing to remember here is that this means we're very likely to get a false confirmation that the, what the Force is telling us has something to do with what's going on outside of us. The way we mitigate this is by first trying to seek our own feelings and becoming more aware of our own lives through meditative practice. And meditative practice can come in many forms. So, Find the one that works best for you and run with it. If you need help, you can talk with somebody that's really good at it. Um, I actually happen to teach a curriculum that gets you exposed to different kinds over at Force Academy if you want to come on over. So the second problem is that when you end up with a false confirmation, you give others the same false confirmation. It can create undue stress amongst novices who didn't, did not feel a shift in the force when they see many others chiming in and in agreement. I've seen this too, though less in the Jedi community and more in the pagan community. They just don't call it the force. It's just a feeling. So anyways, people begin to plan and prepare for something they believe is coming in the here and now, and it puts them on edge. Undue stress can also be created amongst people who did feel the stress. Uh, the this disturbance in the force, so to speak. But more importantly, it can distract them from dealing with the real problems they are going through. By advertising the disturbance you have felt, it places focus on problems that are, are, are outside of ourselves. 
Although Jedi do want to aid the outside world, the problem is that you first need to help yourself before you can truly be of assistance to anyone else. This can be mitigated by first talking with people you consider to be better Jedi than yourself, or at the very least, a Jedi you believe is your equal in understanding the Force before you take it public. They may be, have perspectives you haven't considered yet. The third problem is also a confirmation issue you'll see around the communities, an explanation. Any number of things are going on around the world, and those things which make international news or even just make it into someone's feed as being out of the ordinary, you can get a flood of theories on what the disturbance was because of these things. Such confirmation goes back to the problems outlined in number one and number two. There isn't much way to prevent this flood of theories. Um, it's probably... It's either going to happen or it's not going to happen. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Finally, there's the question of what will you do if you learn it really is a community, state, national, or even global disturbance? The problem with so many people feeling like something was going to happen before 9-11 is that they didn't know what the disturbance was about. With very few exceptions of people claiming to have dreamed about it the night before or in one case, I know someone who was dreaming of it as it was going on. Most have not claimed to have known that the problem was going to be coordinate, a coordinated attack on the Twin Towers or Pentagon, let alone that it would come from two from uh, hijacked commercial airliners. So think to the Star Wars fiction. When Obi-Wan felt a disturbance in the Force, what purpose did it serve to tell Luke about it? You, we have to remember that he was very specific about what he felt. The quote goes, as if a million voices suddenly cried out in terror and were suddenly silenced. If you think about it, this lends to the urgency of Luke fully embracing his hero's journey. And then what of Luke feeling a disturbance that connects him to the trials and tribulations which Leia and Han are going when he's training on Dagobah? Again, the information was clear, or at least somewhat. He knew that the disturbance was that they were in trouble. Maybe not exactly where they were, or at least he doesn't communicate that to us, but he knows that they're in trouble. Knowing this, he was given a decision. The Force gave him a decision. Either follow Yoda's advice and finish his training with him, or rush out into the battlefield hoping he was good enough and gaining experience in the field that Yoda just really couldn't give him. So, so far, if you recall me saying that this related to the Jedi Compass, um, we've already gone, we're going through the Force. That's one of the, the that's the ineffable. We've also gone through self-awareness as it concerns interior awareness. And then we also are hitting on another one here. I believe the key here is actually found in a core ethic. It's not knowledge, it's action. Knowing that something is coming gives you two opportunities to mentally be prepared to shake it off after it happens, or to give you an opportunity to do something about it. Since most of the time we find ourselves asking for people to let us know if they've felt a disturbance and it's not just us, we have to ask the question, why ask the public at all if I'm just seeking knowledge of it? Before you ask the question publicly, consider, am I going to use that information to defend myself against the heartache of what is to come? To which you have to also think you have the answer in yourself. You are fully capable of seeking peace with all things. It's one of the key components of the Jedi Code. And that's even if you're just talking to a confidant. Or another question you have to ask is, am I trying to determine if there is something I can do about the disturbance? To which you really need to consider another point of self-awareness your true capabilities. If all you find you can do is provide emotional support, then that's all you can do. But honestly, why do you need confirmation from others that it's going to happen? You can do that once it happens. But if you're willing to step up and take on a more active role to battle the oncoming storm, then perhaps, perhaps it's really time to ask the Force, what adventure 
am I being called to? Huh. I guess I actually came to a completely different conclusion by the end of this. It's best not to issue a public statement that you have felt a disturbance in the force. Well, there it is then. I'm not condemning anybody for doing it. It's just something to really think about. There are ways that you can deal with this and manage it, and there are Jedi answers. You have to connect with the Force and connect with yourself to figure it all out. Thanks for listening, and awaken the night within.